the Philippines gets two variants of the Mazda CX-8. We have the 7-seater CX-8 signature variant and the all-wheel drive exclusive variant which I have here and it has a luscious six-seater configuration. Today, we're going to find out if this all-wheel drive exclusive is the ultimate in attainable luxury. Let's do this. In my recent review of the CX-8, I shared with you most of the features of the CX-8 signature which can be found here in the Philippines. If you haven't watched that video, you can check the video up right here. Now what I have here is a CX-8 in exclusive trim and it differs from the CX-8 signature in a couple of ways. While both the CX-8 Signature and Exclusive share the same engine and drivetrain, the CX-8 Exclusive all-wheel drive is, well, all-wheel drive versus the front-wheel drive Signature. That means that this all-wheel drive Exclusive will have better traction in wet and slippery conditions. Another major difference between the all-wheel drive Exclusive and the front-wheel drive Signature CX-8 is the interior. Now, the front area of the interior, the dashboard, the driver's seat, the passenger seat in the front, they're all the same with the signature variant. But for the all-wheel drive exclusive, the difference comes in in the second row. And right now, I'm seated in the second row. And as you can see, the all-wheel drive exclusive comes with a pair of captain seats. Now, these captain seats are wrapped in Napa leather with fantastic looking stitching. And at the same time, these are not your run-of-the-mill captain seats where you have a slim armrest in the middle and an empty space where people could just walk through. Instead, what you have here is a center console. Mazda decided to equip the all-wheel drive exclusive with this fantastic looking center console that is reminiscent of some of the offerings of ultra luxury European brands. Now the center console has a couple of cup holders and you have your elevated armrest. Mazda thought about how high the armrest would be and it's so comfortable to just rest your elbow on this elevated armrest. Now the armrest is also wrapped in Napa leather and it also opens to show you a cavernous storage where you could park a couple of iPads and inside this storage area you have a couple of USB charging ports for charging your devices. Now when you close this you will also note that up here above the cup holders you have these controls for your seat ventilation so that you could heat up or cool down your seat depending on the climate control setting that you've placed in your car now speaking of climate control we have here the same climate control that can be found in the front wheel drive signature variant it's automatic climate control as well and we have a set of four uh, seat back pockets that can be found both in the driver's seat back and the passenger seat back. You know, sitting here in the captain seat, the second row of the all wheel drive exclusive, you get that feeling that you are being cocooned in luxurious comfort. The way your elbows just naturally rest on the center console armrest and the dorsal armrest, it gives you that feeling as if you are traveling in a business class seat in a major airline. You have that kind of luxury and feeling while you are being driven around town and while you are conversing with your companion who is similarly cocooned in luxurious comfort beside you. That is just how fantastic these second row captain seats of the CX-8 all-wheel drive exclusive variant is. It gives you that feeling of being in an ultra luxury vehicle without paying that ultra luxury price. Now some of you might wonder how a person would get in and out of the third row given the fact that your second row are now captain seats and there's a center console in between. Well it's quite a simple affair. All you need to do is pull on the latch that can be found up here on the top of the seat right here and push the car the seat forward and now you can get inside into the third row of your CX-8. 
Now, once you're inside, you will be treated to the same spacious uh, third row treatment that can be found in the front wheel drive signature variant. However, given the fact that there is a center console for the six seater all wheel drive variant, the people in the third row would have a lesser claustrophobic experience being in the third row since there is a space that they can look out through in the center of the second row. Getting out is also quite easy and all you have to do is just push back on the seat, lock it in place and you're back in business. Now although I've been saying that the best seat in the house is the second row captain's seat, I'm going to take the CX-8 all-wheel drive exclusive out for a drive just to see its road manners and to give you a drive impression just in case that your driver decides to take a day off and you have to drive it for yourself. So let's go for that drive right now. So we're now behind the wheel of the CX-8 all-wheel drive exclusive variant. And the first thing that I noted is just how big this car is. They say it's in between the CX-5 and the CX-9, but in terms of the way it feels while you're driving it, I feel like it's closer to the CX-9 rather than the CX-5. The CX-5 has that little bit more of a smaller SUV feel to it than the CX-8. This one gives you the feeling that you are exactly driving a mid-size SUV. One of the things that contribute to the feeling that you're in a large SUV is the high sit seating position. You have a commanding presence of the road and you could see that visibility is also quite good in this car. Now one of the biggest uh, questions that I've encountered in my CX-8 review in the front wheel drive signature variant is how does the engine respond when it comes to the CX-8. You see both all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive variants of the CX-8 in the Philippines is motivated by the Skyactiv G engine and that's 2.5 liter and it's the same engine that is found in the CX-5. Now we all know that the CX-5 is smaller and lighter than the CX-8. So right now we're here in the stoplight. We're going to see its frontline acceleration just to see how, you know, how it motivates this bigger car. So we're just waiting for the light to go and we're going to just check out its acceleration. We have an open road up ahead. Let's go. Okay, in terms of response, so I mean just in drive, I'm not in sport mode or anything, uh, but yeah, it, it's decent, it's decent, it's not, it doesn't strain too much, you, you hear the engine go up, uh, the engine sound as the revs go up, but in terms of power, it is quite adequate, and then that's quite surprising given that this is a bigger and heavier car after all than the CX-5. Now, one of the possible reasons behind this is the gearing of the transmission. You see, Mazda still uses that six-speed automatic transmission and the way that this CX-8 gearing is uh, done, well, it looks like we have most of the torque that comes in lower in the rev range than the other, the most other cars. Okay, so now that we've answered the power department, now let's take a look at the fuel economy. Well, this is a Skyactiv G engine, it's 2.5 liter, but it's still motivating a heavy body. So in terms of fuel economy, you could expect to see around 8 to 10 kilometers per liter when it comes to mixed city and highway driving. Now when I say city driving, that's city driving in Manila, which is pretty bad. You'd notice that in this review, we don't really have much traffic because I am driving this on a Sunday and on a holiday weekend as well, where everybody has taken off from the city. Now this all-wheel drive exclusive also has a suite of safety features that cannot be found in the front-wheel drive signature variant. First up, you have your smart brake assist, where if it senses that you are about to go into a collision, it's going to start braking for you. It also has this uh, driver alertness mode, which, well, comes up with a beep and comes up with a prompt right here in the infotainment, in the, well, in the gauges asking you if you want to have coffee and that normally comes in after you've been driving for quite some time. Another safety feature that this all-wheel drive exclusive variant has that the front-wheel drive signature doesn't have is the radar cruise control. Basically, aside from the standard cruise control, you can it has a radar that would detect if the car in front of you is slowing down. That way it would adjust the speed of your cruise control accordingly. 
It also has sensors all around the car wherein it, if it feels that something is about to have an imminent collision with your CX-8, it would alert you with a beep and it will also show you a view of the 360 degree view camera on your infotainment screen. Uh, I had that happen to me just now when a motorcycle just decided to come too close to the CX-8, didn't really hit, but it triggered that sensor. Okay, so we're gonna do a short burst of acceleration here. Okay, yes. So we could see that. Oh, nope, it's closed. All right. So with that short burst of acceleration, you could feel that yes, there is an adequate power. It's not a very powerful vehicle. It's just right. It won't leave you hanging when you are passing cars on the highway, but it won't also provide you that punch, that kind of acceleration punch that you'd come to expect from something like the CX-9 with its uh, turbocharged 2.5 liter engine. Okay, so I've been testing the CX-8 when it comes to acceleration and power in normal mode. Now I've put it on sport mode, so let's take a look at how it responds with sport mode on. Yeah, the revs are kept at a higher level and responsiveness is noticeably improved. It seems that in normal mode, your CX-8 will prioritize fuel economy above all. But when you put it in sport mode, that's when it brings the hammer down and it feels like I'm driving a turbocharged 2.5 liter that can be found in the CX-9. It's, it's that big a change. If you are a spirited driver like me, I wouldn't remove sport mode at all on this vehicle because Frankly, the normal mode, I really find it more like an eco mode than anything. So this sport mode is really more up my alley. Yeah, look, I love how it corners. Even for such a big midsize SUV, the driving dynamics of this CX-8 is really up there. <laughs> so it's good that the CX-8 is equipped with a sport mode, at least you know, the normal mode could be like your normal soccer mom mode, just maximizing on fuel economy and efficiency. Then you have your sport mode, which is your daddy mode, when daddy has to rush to the groceries to pick up another set of diapers for the baby. <laughs> The CX-8 driving dynamics is the same as its stable mates in the lineup of Mazda. It still gives you that engaging drive that you would come to expect from all of Mazda's current offerings. Now if you want to remain on the fuel efficient side and just putter around town, just keeping it in normal mode would be the best selection for you. But if you would like to have some spirited driving, even if you are in a mid-size SUV, just toggle that sport mode on and you will have no doubts that the 2.5 liter Skyactiv G engine in the CX-8 can motivate it to go where you want it to go and go quickly as well. Now we all know that the best seats in the house for the all-wheel drive exclusive is the second row captain seats. But how much do you have to pony up in order to experience such luxury? Well, in the Philippines, this all-wheel drive exclusive retails for 2,450,000 pesos. And that is only 150,000 pesos more expensive than the seven-seater front-wheel drive signature variant. Now, if you don't have a need for a seven-seater mid-size SUV and you could do with a six-seater, I would highly recommend that you purchase this all-wheel drive exclusive variant rather than the front-wheel drive. Why? Because this is the best in terms of backseat luxury that you can experience without breaking the bank. Once again, thank you for watching one of my car reviews. I'm Ray Gan and I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.